Hey guys, um, I'll be fine here. I here to pick to, I don't know, to just read the profile from the uh, World Championship qualifier playoff that we played on Friday. And uh, yeah, because a lot of people asking for my deck, and which is not for it, and I assume they have seen any stream. Um, and, uh, which is why, even though I did not qualify for words, I thought it would be a, you know, a good idea to just show off um, how the deck works and how it works to me. Um, so I ended up, I, I lost you know, one, and then I ended up X Walmer, but um, with four tiebreaks, I did not uh, manage to cop fifth, so I ended up sick with the deck. And uh, yeah, I'll truly also play the deck to the main event, uh, and the main events, but I, it ended up went as, it did not go as well as on um, Blail. But I still think this deck was amazing, very fun to play, and uh, yeah, let's go on the deck and fight. So we play, of course, uh, Higintas um, and Free Snows. So this is the best turn of the deck, and Snow just keeps everything going on. So we need to play 2 of each. Uh, 3 Rainbow. Um, that one is pretty good, as this is the only dark word that is um, optional. So you can like change what other cards with it being blockchain too, even though it wasn't that useful in the pure dark words. But it also um, worked in other decks, like with purely. Um, two Brothers, you could play one theoretically, but you want to play two just in case you have to vanish one you value a darkness or something like this. And uh, yeah, uh, two Silvers for the same reason. You So this is the main card to well, you know, hand up your opponent. So if anything happens, like you have to discard one then for danger, or uh, you have to like use it for a link or something because you don't have that another play, you have to, to have another, another one just for the well, always have the option to hand up your, uh, your opponents. Uh, and also sometimes you have like double silver on field, but it's kind of rare. Uh, but then you can like box the two, special two or two big ones, and then you end up on a dragon trainer if you have another end. So which is why two was really important. Of course the ones are really, uh, you never want to play more than one. Uh, you don't want to have it too soon in your hands. You just want to, you know, draw it up through your combo. Um, as you know, you, could, you just close your hand at, at first. Uh, and to go with this, you have know, first three gates. Uh, theoretically, you could play only two, uh, as you know, it's on a starting line zone. Uh, when you go second, usually you can either side one out. Uh, and, but yeah, usually you get results of like cool games thanks, we, thanks to the pools. One of the fusion, same as you could play two, but. Um, you, know, you can search it. You can search it up snow at any moment of the game. So, but that, that's it for the uh, dark words. Then, three Nessies, three Mothlers. Those are the ones you always want to open with. Um, they always get you something. Uh, Triple Cabra, you play two just because it's a fiend instead of four. But there's a rule that says every time you're rebuilding Triple Cabra, it gets this kind of and you'll have anything else to move away. It's kind of true, unfortunately. Uh, but so you have support to various place too, and uh, sometimes you can reborn uh, a level eight in to get to go to your giant train, and then one Jackalope, and uh, one Sushinoko. This is the worst of the deck. <laughs> um, Jackalope is quite okay as again you can special summon build for the eight for uh, an, X, an XYZ place. Um, could also play like a Thunderbird. I did not play one. I mean, I, I did play one. On, uh, on the main events, but I I saw that there would not be that much uh, you know backward decks at the playoffs, which is also why I you know I what you will see I, I wasn't playing Phoenix in the extra deck same as Rune, and so so well easy thing I mean it will work. So we'll get to the point later. Uh, one cat one Salamander Catalyzer. So if you don't know, you just reveal this plus any few monster in your hand. A special one of them and send the other to the graveyard so it triggers off your old for dark wizard monsters and uh yeah you can even you know say it's up to the graveyard special summon the dark for you need the apes or something uh yeah it's a fit it's a little fall the only downside is like it's, it's fired or dark so it doesn't we cannot banish it off other but that's the only thing otherwise it's perfect it was Ephros. um yeah just very good kind solid overall in the deck uh better for the consistency I played triple a little darkness. Uh, though 
Amush did not want to play field them because he's right. When you go for a little darkness and then you draw like a spell, another spell, you're not happy with it. But just the, you know, just the consistency is very important. And also being able to like go for a little darkness, draw till as a first move, fix your hand before you could eventually get drawn is very important. And then there's a field here. Color destruction, well, of course. Um, so color destruction is very powerful, obviously, but you don't want to see it in your opening hand again. If you'd rather like, you know, draw it off after a cost of, uh, well, drawn cards. And then once you only have what you really want to discard, you, you go for it. Um, once you've like secured your field with a negate, a palooza, or the fusion, then you can go for color destruction. And even if your letter is you will draw into your hands or on the bird, you'll be good. You'll be tired. Uh, also Goblin. That's, that's it for the Cosmos Sissy Guides. So, Shrub Attack Talents is just there for duping the, the last card in the open hill after you like sold it in twice. So, yeah. Um, attention, you can play one of peace. But again, I was feeling not really confident giving a draw to my opponents. Him giving him an extra chance to have either draw or ship, so which is why, and then you could go one day of peace. You can potentially survive for a turn, but then it is you also have to no three times to ruling, and then also I did not really have to like the count down. And then to finish with the uh, two radiant, the kaiju, so dark, eight, tint, AP, uh, no, seven, sorry, it's like dark, tint, uh, everything new if you want. This is like basically there. Yeah, does it accomplishes everything you want you. Now the thing is, why did I play Dark Birds in playoffs? Because I did not even mention it yet. It's basically because uh, we were expecting some Kashtiros, we were expecting some Blue X Sprites, and some Labyrinth, some Branded, and none of those decks are really, really getting uh, hit by Shifter or Drawn and Love So the theory was that at the playoffs at least, no one will be main decking Shifter at all, which was the case. Uh, that is no nobody uh, nobody main them actually not so I only get draw walls in each feature but this it happens it happens um, so that's it for the main deck uh, the, the honestly the dark book call for the playoff was very good now the extra deck this way gets treated if you got one fusion you'd like to play two well you cannot really afford you know enough space in the extra deck to play two uh, but the card is like amazing uh, one cross ship. I was really sure about laying cross ship at first, but then my uh, you know, my coach on the deck, so Amush and the uh, Neil, they convinced me in cross ship very good and actually it is. Um, Security Dragon, just to bounce boss really, or like a danger if really you're struggling to fix your hand. Um, a cracker, though, you, this is really the last. Link Master, you want to resolve in your turn, because then you're locked. Uh, for the... Um, nightmare Package, so those two are mandatory. Directly you could play Phoenix, but as I said before, I wasn't expecting any backward decks, except for Labyrinth, but a Phoenix, a Sing Phoenix is not going to accomplish, accomplish much against Labyrinth. So, I cut it out for another card. Uh, dark, same, I wasn't sure about playing Dark, but the con went amazing, even today on the run. I, I was also on Feature, I mean, I was also on Feature today, but on 7, and I won the game thanks to Dark. Yeah, the card is amazing. Uh, just crash it during the battle phase, and then, you know, basic searches for either the best awkward card being Seal, or the best, the danger being Mothman, so. A Palooza to section your boards. Um... Yeah, usually you're gonna end up with the Palooza and then Griffin uh, just underneath and then um, the fusion there. So of course you are giving an arrow to your opponents um, and so you'll be able to be in trigger some also be special someone there. Uh, but as he is supposed to start with this like one kind in hand, it doesn't do much. This is like a really good protection against the Bureau Princess. Um, or like, you know, Shifter draw in, you have to make your opponent draw completely. Uh, so you just, so you don't want, you don't really want to put Surya on board. If you put Surya on board, it's like, this is like you're in a situation where you cannot do anything else and you have Peter's Uh It happens, but it's like the, you know, like the emergency play, I'd say. 
and uh, one goddess. Uh, yeah, it bas most of the time, it's just you know, you know just like special summoning a danger, another one, another one, and if your opponent doesn't respond, you just usually goddess uh, goddess him with one of his LinkedIn monsters. That's it for the X for uh, for the for the new monsters. Uh, Dugar is the main card of the combos. Uh, Protoss got one is the fiends, so you can banish him up gates. But you're scared, so when you get shifted the draw, for if you get if you get draw, maybe you will not even be able to put off the Baguska on board. But if you get shifter, well, theoretically you can survive the turn if you're facing Kashtua. And then, if, hopefully you can play. Uh, so it happened a couple of times. Uh, it's also a big thing against Flander, by the way, which I faced in the playoffs. Uh, one Dragon Trainer says this is one of the win condition in time because it burns. Uh, uh, yeah, kind of wheezing. And one Zeus, so which is why I wasn't playing Phoenix, I played Zeus. So if, was, uh, if you're playing against Kashtira, then you know, radiant the uh, yeah, radiant the Arise Heart. Then you go into Dark, Special Summon the Arise Heart, attack over one of his monsters. Then you equip one from your Banished. So I, I, I happen to equip one face down Banished Ganta. And then you just go through Zeus over it, clean everything, and then you play it. It happened at the Free of once. I did the exact same slay, uh, and I knew my opponent, uh, I had a custom cyclone, my hand was like full backwards, I had one gate on board, and I knew I had to get rid of the cosmic cyclone first, so which is why Kaiju, Dark, Reborn, Attack, Zooms, then activate gates, and then draw. So that was it. For the airship. How much? Now for the side deck. So, it's really, really uh, focusing on so many specific threats. So, as you've seen, uh, maybe on Twitch round 5 against Ryan, I got Puppet Locked. So, you only play like those cards, not to get Puppet Locked. Uh, of course, Co by the Grave was also uh, a generally good card uh, to side in game 2 if, you, if the opponent like siding shift to draw in your turn first. But it was also very good to get the Puppet Lock, theoretically, because I did not draw it in that situation. Um, then the main main threat of the deck is of course the Rise Heart, which is why you do play three x y in Inco. Uh, it happened, it happened. I, ex I did use uh, Inco x y z a couple of times. Then played you Amush for the cards. Uh, wings we ride because it's amazing. Directly you can also use against uh, Dweller, which is the second biggest threat of the deck, and uh, probably the biggest threat. Probably because probably maybe the. Uh, biggest red of the deck, but not the most common ones. Uh, additionally, we also play three Book of Eclipse. Uh, I can side them if you're going first. If you get Shifter, this Kashtira, I can just uh, set it for a turn. Hopefully, you survive and go off. And uh, yeah, that, that was it. So, no Dark Cooler. Uh, it could have been better. Dark Cooler would have been better against like Sprite when you the stuff. But we decided to. Uh, have any have any side against Kashtu as it was uh, well the main threat. And then so as you may have seen the deck can play solitaire for like twenty five minutes or something like that. Like Thirty minutes if the opponent does a scoop so you uh, often go to time and you need to have some ways to win some time. Uh, which is why if you're playing first uh, what well, you put out another Gaga Cowboy so even if your Dragon Trainer gets like impermanence or something they have no another way to burn him. Um, and if you're going second, and uh, why well, is your opponent turn? It's going to take time. You have three dark woods. Yeah, I think if you play a deck like that one, that goes so so often to time, you have to play those cards. Uh, this is like another weak bottom. Uh, and even if you're going first, you can side some of the I'm advise me to even just side in two, even if I'm going first, because if you're going to stomp your turn. And like you have the weak end, this is to play, uh, you double with them, and that, that, that's all each So, yeah, first you put you cycle. So, overall, um, yeah, I'm fairly happy with the, um, you know, the standings at the end, even though I did not make it to top cut. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was in an in interesting choice. Uh, I played the mob decks before the event and I realized that it, you know, I was on Sprite but I didn't want to play Sprite at the playoffs, I thought it was too weak. And whatever would have been the deck I would have chosen, I would not have been the best play in the world with it, so I wait for Dark Uh And deck is really fun to play. 
So at the end of the day, um, shout out to the 14. Uh, shout out to Ryan because uh, you and Sukhan, you presented the map to. Um, and also a very big shout out to Amush and the uh, Mule to help me about building the deck. And uh, Amush, you're almost about it. Tu vas monter ta tête là, petit shout out. Non, c'est bon, tranquille. The master is coming. Here is, well, here, here is the real Dalford master. He crafted the bed. So, yeah, shout out to Reed. No, we're the best here. And uh, yeah, see you, on, uh, see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>